Alrighty, welcome back to another video. So, Opera event is up. Uh, we've been doing some um, some of the event to try and get uh, as many coins as we can, along with some of the coins that we saved up previously. And yeah, they have a new hero as well. So let's go and have a look. Prince Siegfried. I think that's how you pronounce it. Siegfried? Siegfried? Siegfried lah. No, never mind. It's okay. Uh, Prince Siegfried is a five-star green druid. So he's part of the opera family. For bonus for one, two or three heroes, you get plus five, ten, fifteen percent attack, defense, and HP, uh, which can be pretty significant. He also has uh, resist defense ailments, so he can't get hit by any defense ailments, and that includes stacks. Um, Elemental defense down, normal defense down, but it does not include, um, I think, taking extra damage. That, that ailment that gives you the uh, the ailment that you can take extra damage, so you, you're not immune from that. At the same time, he heals when status ailment expires or is cleared, so this character receives 20% health each time a status ailment expires or is cleansed removed or reallocated from them this effect can activate only once per turn you would think 20 percent health is very low um when you're using legendary troops this can go pretty high especially look at his health now 2300 that's 400 health without legendary troops so alpha eat uh, alpha power of counter attack dance of the heron slow speed if the caster is defeated during the next five turns they are re resurrected in the beginning of their next turn with 30 percent health and all allies recovered 1100 hp uh, all status effects and stacks are removed when the caster is defeated cast dance of the heron to all allies but the caster for five turns all existing status effects will be removed when this effect is added dance of the heron counter attack with 130 percent of the damage received received damage is reduced by 35 percent gives immunity to new status effect new dance status effects will replace this effect and this effect cannot be dispelled the effect is removed when the caster is defeated so this is more of a defensive hero um giving the ability to counter attack without being able to dispel this apart from killing him um makes this hero really good because remember you you will have to dispel his resurrection ability first and then try to kill him in order to remove the counter attack uh damage reduction of 35 percent is also really busted uh we've seen this with uh with the new purple um what the hell is his name there's that untold hero that's purple that counter attacks and at the same time deals damage and at the same time have damage reduction that's really good costume sif does the same thing as well so it's really good uh, when you're going against a lot of hitters. Um, the fact that they can dance, they're, they're dancing when they do this means no ailments can affect this ability uh, and you can't even dispel this apart from killing him. So I think he'll be really, really strong in rush wars, especially, especially when you have, um, when the main, you know, style, there, there are basically two styles for rush wars right now is either you grind them out by using minions to cut mana and control the pace of the game or you just bring a, a like a trio or or duo of a really hard hitting uh combination that will just wipe out the team and having prince siegfried means you're countering that huge damage deal uh the huge damage dealing part so i think it's a really fun one to use for rush wars uh, not sure if we'll see this in Rush Wars so soon. I think it'll be interesting to see where he will be placed. I don't know if he'll be placed in the tank position. Uh, I would say maybe the flank or the wing. Maybe. Who knows? Um, now, if you realize, it's very... you. So you can actually use other opera heroes to kind of, um, uh, you know, remove his effect by having a new dance effect go on to... Uh, onto Siegfried's allies, but the problem is a lot of this, a lot of the Oprah heroes, they deal a lot of damage up front before they cast their dance skills, and they gotta change this rotating rotating shit when you're <laughs> when you're talking about a hero. Um, so let me go. So let's look at um, Phantom of the Opera first. You deal you deal the damage up front before you put the ballad of obsession, which replaces the dance effect, right? So you're essentially killing Phantom first before you replace the dance effect. Uh, the same thing with Christine, you're dealing damage first. So 
the only way I could see you countering this is by maybe using Raul, uh, which is dealing very little damage and um, changing changing their dance status effect, or you have to find a way to dispel and kill Prince Siegfried. So pretty decent, pretty decent hero, I would say. Uh, quite a fun one to be used. I, I like the mechanics on him. Um, it will be really fun even on offense as well. So let's see how he how he does in the next rush war rotation. All right, next one is Swan Maiden. This is a new three star um, opera hero. I don't believe was there a previous three star ballad hero. I don't recall. Yeah, there isn't. So this is a new one, Swan Maiden, three star blue paladin. Uh, same opera family defense, opera family bonus. I mean, and then they also resist defense ailments, which is actually pretty good. Dance of the Little Swan. <laughs> The caster regenerates 402 HP over 3 turns. The caster gets plus 30% chance to dodge special, skill, uh, special skills that deal damage for 3 turns. Cast Dance of the Little Swan to all allies but caster for 3 turns. All existing status effects will be removed and this effect is added. So Dance of the Little Swan, 30% chance to dodge attacks and special skills. I'm having, big, <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble pronouncing special skills today. 35% chance to deal 240% damage to a random enemy after any subsequent allied special skill is cast. Gives immunity to new status effects. New done status effects will replace this effect. Cannot be dispelled. The effect is removed when the caster is defeated. So this is basically a 3-star Odette, which I think to be really strong. And I would like... Jesus... I would like to have the Swan Maiden. You know, just as a... Um, just as a nice, you know, blue hero that you can use. Um, on raid tournaments, in raid tournaments, uh, I'm not sure you'll use this in challenge events, but um, I think he'll she'll be really strong on raid tournaments. So we do have a couple of pools. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do any gem pools, but I do really want Christine. I think I like that they changed the feature to Christine and Fermin Richard. So the last time we did pools, we ended up getting <laughs> Phantom of the Opera and all that. So I'm really hoping for something new today. Let's hope and let's see. Brienne. Oh, finally we get the Hero of the Month. That's nice. Uh, next one. Let's see. Actually, what am I? There's, there's only eight pools. I don't think I'll get Christine, but uh, I would like um, Swan Maiden. Swan Maiden, I think, would be really nice if I can just get Swan Maiden here. No Swan Maiden. <sighs> nope. Wow, I can't even get the tree star. Are you serious? <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll do a ten pool. Uh, I bought a little bit of gems just for this event, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get something here. You know what they say, if you use gems, you can actually get something. And all I want is the tree star. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Not even the tree star? Uh. <sighs> well, nothing new, so... I guess we have to grind out the rest of the event and see whether we can get the Swan Maiden. Well, congrats for anybody who's gotten Prince Siegfried or Swan Maiden. Uh, good luck if you're trying to do any pulls. And I'll see you in the next video. GG.